Hello my friend and welcome. It's time to celebrate. And what are we celebrating? Well, Max Easy Terrain 1.0 is now out. And let's celebrate that. And uh, we can do that by you going to grab a bag of popcorn or something and then come back and then I will show you the latest features. Okay, so let's get started. Let's just go around here and as you can see we now have what is called a paleta or it's not just a paleta, it's kind of teams but uh, you can use it as paleta for water, grass, trees and terrain textures. That is so you can get a really quick start on this project and uh, like you can just uh, select woods and change the textures, the water and the trees to a wood team. Or you could uh, say I want a jungle and you get a jungle. It's as easy as that and it uh, you can even mix them like if we say I like to make a tropical Iceland, like so, and it just looks great, but uh, what if you like the trees from the jungle more than this, uh, then you can just select the jungle, then you can untick trees, and then you can go back to tropical. And as you can see, you now have the tropical water and uh, grass and uh, tying textures, but using the jungle trees. Like so, here you can see the tropical uh, grass. Now, if you like the, the default grass more, then we could just go to the default like so, and then we have the default grass, then we will just uncheck grass and go back to tropical. So now we have the default grass with the jungle trees and the tropical water and time textures. And that looks great. So what else is new? Yeah, there's uh, many great new features, like you can now make uh, background mountain or Iceland like if we should try to we could try to make a, a tropical Iceland out here I've just used the same settings here so we just go into this tab and activate the planet generator like so it now has something called use high maps and it has an option called flat planets. We take that and then we try to I will just uh, no let's just try to create this create planet. Please wait. It's working. And so now we have uh, this flat Iceland that we can control the height of you can see uh, it has some water color here, we don't like that, we will turn that out. Also if we look closely, we we'll just set it uh, a little larger, like so, and lock it, so we can fly in. You see all this starts that's the trees, we will just disable the trees and then generate the planet again. Please wait, it's like that, and then we have it, a uh, polygon, terrain, that can be used as, uh, you can use it as uh, background mountains or whatever you can think of. You can uh, control the height and uh, how many polygons you like to use to produce it. We can even make it uh, add a normal map, we'll just do that create a new planet and it's working on it. Also you can uh, select the texture size up here if you want 4k, 2k, 1k or whatever resolution you like the textures to be in 
2K is fine, as you can see. You can see all the details in it, so um, that will work fine as a background. Just move it uh, away here, and we just enable the trees and uh, like that. And then let's make it a little larger, like uh, pop up if we take this to 20,000 and make it 15,000. See, oh, we need it to be further away. Oops. 13,000. And here we get a second island. Iceland. Tropical Iceland. And it just looks so great. Look at that. And what is uh, easy about this is... Uh, you can just uh, save it out directly as a DBO, like here. You give it a name. Uh, Tropical Iceland Background. And then you said, export Planet DBO. And it will not only uh, make the DBO, it will make everything. It will ask uh, where you want to place it. and. Uh, default to the, your user folder and just click OK and it then has created this object including a DBO, FPM file and uh, all the text that's that you need so it's ready to be used uh, directly inside uh, Game Google Max now as you can see it just can look so great also you can use it for many other things like making uh, background mountains uh, if you just select some other, uh, like, uh, mountains or something, so you get the right colors, and uh, or you can make a ice, uh, ice, uh, what do you call that, ice mountain out in the water, or something like that. So that is a great new feature, and it's uh, pretty easy to produce these, uh, yeah, background uh, mountains. It even has a... Uh, option now so you can uh, make uh, planets that also include the uh, high like if I wanted to change this into a planet I'll just create just a uh, untick flat planning and then create it again and it will create a planet for you that include high maps and you can see all the high maps you can even control the UV scale how many times you want it repeated dips like so so three two well it's not really a good plan at the same for this one this uh, let's make another so you can see how it works if you do it right let's just get this back and then we are going to um, raise it a bit up in the here so we can see it like so and lock it and then we are going to like if we want uh, the planet to have mountain all over the place we should disable Iceland so it, ca it gets uh, bumpy all over we just disable this and this and we could make it uh, mountain textures or should we try s no, let's try uh, snow let's try snow and let's create it and please wait and now we have a snow planet looks great well perhaps it's too bumpy let's check it down a bit like so and then try to repeat the textures Dips. Dips. and like so that looks pretty well I think can just make it more or less perhaps give it a few more polygons like so so we have a snow 
a snow planet. Now let's change everything into a jungle with trees and water and everything. And uh, let's place the snow planet. Oh, oh, let's try to make it a flat planet now. Create it. Then we'll get that jungle planet or jungle flat planet that looks like a jungle. Whoa, we forgot to enable the Iceland again. We like it to be a Iceland. Please wait. Like so. And then we will unlock it and place it into the water. You can see here now uh, how the... I've just set it there, log it. Now you can see how the UV scaling is working. We get six of the same landscape. See, we can change them here. Four, one, and one. So now we only have a single. And it will not only scale the UV of the textures, but also the high map, so that is based on how it generated. So, uh, as you can see, we now have a great looking jungle, background, m mountain or Iceland, or what are you are going to use it for, whatever. And it just looks so great. Well, that was just a quick intro to some of the new features. And remember, it's now released, and I will put it on the shop, so you can go get yourself a copy. And, uh, well, it's just so much easier now to make uh, really fast levels, and uh, with everything set up. So, uh, okay, until next time, have a great day.